Hi viewers, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whichever one applies to you. I hope you're all well and I hope you're all in good health. I wanted to show you the first school that I actually went to. Because as you know, when I came to UK, I was only five years old in 1983. Whoa, where did the time go guys? And this is the school I actually went to. This school was called Kettlebridge School and I started nursery from there. So I thought, why not share with you something interesting that I've not shared with you before. And this park here, guys, this is the park we used to actually play football with all my friends. And we have so much memory. And now just seeing all these young kids playing and chilling, it brings back a lot of memories. But this is somewhere that's very close to my heart. And this is Darnell Sheffield S9 because a lot of my friends and family we still live in Darnell. I love it because this is home. Darnell is home. Darnell is where I'm from. Live in Darnell. Die in Darnell. But let me show you Catbridge School because this is my first school. But now it's not actually a school, it's actually a madrasa. But oh my god, where did the time go? It brings back a lot of memories. And after that, I've got a surprise for you. So this is actually the playground or the play yard and now you can see it's a masjid but we used to spend so much time with my friends cousin just playing here getting up to no good all the mischief and this is where the playground here is right behind there if you could see here turn the camera right behind me there that's where they had the dinner hall there so every time we used to have dinner we used to actually walk all the way around there inside there and have the dinner hall and um, the toilets back in days it was outside we used to have the outside toilets right there behind so it's all different now and it's totally changed and um, the other thing i like to mention is there was actually two bengali schools so they used to have two bengali schools in the afternoon from five o'clock till about six o'clock and i'm going to show you where the schools were so we used to have a second class so after school at three o'clock we used to finish and then we used to go to Bengali school and it was right there so let me show you where it was so this is where it was this building there you can see that was actually where we used to have the Bengali lessons and I had two teachers at that time there was one teacher called Kushum Babu and there was another one called Mr Ghosh Mr Ghosh was actually the caretaker of this place and that was where he used to stay so if you look there that was originally the caretaker's house and that's where he used to stay and uh, let me show you one more thing and this is quite interesting They didn't have toilets inside, yeah? And we had to go to this toilet here. There. And it was always very spooky, very spooky. And um, a lot of times there's a lot of stories about saying it was haunted. It was very spooky. But this is Kettlebridge School. And I just wanted to share with you something that's quite close to my heart because this is where I started my studies. Can we get out of this place? I don't know. One more thing I want to share with you guys and uh, don't try this at home 
But when we were kids, we were a little bit crazy, we were a little bit mad. What we used to do is we used to actually play on top of that roof there. And that's how crazy we were. So we used to go and play all over the roof. And uh, them days we used to watch a lot of Rambo movies and we used to do daft things like even probably jump from there and climb up all them legs. We used to walk all around there and we used to actually spend a lot of time playing on that roof and that was insane. But these days you won't see many kids doing that. And a lot of times we used to have a lot of fights and this is where we used to fight here. That's where we used to fight. So after school, a lot of time when there used to be problems, we used to come here and we, could, we used to resolve the issues there. But them days we used to have a lot of fist fights. None of the knives and none of the guns, none of that. So we used to go there, we used to have fights there. And then we used to shake hands and finish it off there. So whenever we used to have issues, and I'm going back in the 1980s or even early 90s. So it just shows my age. I'm in my 40s now. So we used to go there, we used to fight there, and afterwards we used to shake hands and we used to just finish it there. The surprise is right here, let's show you. So this is the surprise, Audi A5, am I correct? So this is the Audi A5, a younger brother of mine, close friend of mine, someone I've known him since childhood, he's actually bought this car. And I'm so happy because I'm always happy about other people's success. In life, it's so important to be happy of others as well, not to be just happy about yourself. So I'm happy about him and I'm going to take this car for a spin if he allows me and I just want to see how it is honestly because I'm super excited because it's actually the first time he's so bought something brand new correct yeah and it's actually bought from the showroom as well as you can see and this is actually I think the latest model in Audi A5 and it's the S-Line so let's like take a little tour of this car the best thing I like about this cooler is the car color itself because as you see the gray looks really nice especially with the wheels because I believe these are gray wheels as well and it looks immaculate then you've got the tinted windows there it's a real head turn of this car it's absolutely amazing so Omar can I have the keys please if you don't mind and let's take it for a little spin so Omar is going to be going in that side and film as we speak as well. Let me tell you a few things about this car guys. So this car is an Audi A5 S line Quattro as Quattro as a four wheel drive. And this is actually one of the top of the range models. So this was fully kitted out with so much things. And uh, one more thing, sorry, as I mentioned before, I'm, I'm not very knowledgeable about cars, but this car, it has a nice roof, yeah? We're gonna open it and we're gonna show you how it is. I bet a lot of you guys laughing, you think, what is this guy doing? He's, he's making a, a car review, he doesn't know what he's on about, so let's open the roof. So Abracadabra, Kulja, Sim Sim. Look at that guy, yes? So I know in England, we're not that blessed with the sun, but if it's a nice day, you could open this window. And this car will cost you, guess, 51,000 pounds. This car will cost you 51,000 pounds. But if you want an Audi, buy an Audi. I definitely recommend this Audi. Anyway, I'm not the person to give you reviews about a car, but all the best to Omar 
and his missus. I'm very happy. And you know, I think they've actually made me some chapatis. So I'm going to go home and eat it because they're lovely neighbors, man. A lot of respect to these guys, honestly. Because they're my next door neighbors. They're like family now. And all the time they go out of the way. And that's how close we are. And in life, it's so important to have close people around you, have people that love you, respect you. And you need that good relationship because money doesn't matter everyone's got money everyone's got a bit of disposable income but friendship loyalty and when you need people they're always there so yeah hats off to the family and um, they're a great family if you're in Darnell next time guys come around and uh, we'll probably even do a vlog together peace mashallah look at it that smell of the fresh leather as well guys it smells so nice because um i've always drove bmws and this car absolutely amazing let's start it up and let's get the seat position correct bismillah so omar might guide me there start wow got a big screen i think that's probably about if i'm correct about what 12 inch or 12 inch screen it's all touch screen as well look at that an amazing okay let's do it guys lock my car seat belt on into reverse parking off look at that guys i think that's like a proper hd high definition and you can see it crystal clear look at that it's so nice and it's all digital as well look at it long days are gone the analog it's all digital let's put it on neutral first give it a little rev Look at that, how smooth it is. Sounds very smooth. Okay, let's go. So Omar doesn't want to be in the film because he's a little bit camera shy, but he's allowed me to drive. And I just want to share with you my experience in this car. The best thing I like about this car is the auto. I love driving automatic cars because they're amazing, they're easy to drive and very comfortable. Especially if you're doing a lot of driving, even motorway driving or long distance you need an automatic car and even this car is quite a spacious car really spacious so comfortable even sat here i think these are called bucket seats if i'm correct but very comfortable a nice car and uh, i'm gonna turn it around here and let's go back because i don't want to crash his car he won't be very happy if i crash his car and a lot of times I don't like driving other people's car just in case, you know, because accidents do happen. But honestly, guys, this is a beautiful car. It's, uh, it's something to be proud of. And a lot of times it's so important. If you work hard, you deserve a treat. A lot of people work hard and um, they don't spend their money well. But he works hard, his wife works hard and they deserve a nice street, a nice car, so they could go, they could chill out. But yeah, this is going to be the end of my vlog. And I just wanted to finish it off here. Thank you, Omar, for letting me drive this car. And you know what? On my night off, I might even take it because I'm thinking to go out of town. So I might take it for a little um, drive. Anyway, guys, if you like my video, subscribe, comment, share, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Peace.